Maria, one of the things I'd like to get a sense from you on is what do you find are some of maybe one or two of the major challenges that you've had in terms of uh, either creating or maintaining or sustaining um, employee resource groups at Airbnb? Thank you. So, um, like I said before, I've been in Airbnb for seven years, and that gives me a perspective of like when we didn't have ERGs, when we got our first ERG, and up to now where um, we are even having sub ERGs, which is like we'll have a main ERG, for example, um, Pride Ad, and now we have one that's Trans Ad that lives right, like integrated to to Pride Ad. Um, I would say that the biggest challenge, honestly, comes when you're trying to grow ERGs. It's in finding the right place for them to be at the table and for them to be involved in part of the narrative. Um, it can be very challenging because there is there is a balance that you need to run between who the ERG is serving. Is it serving its members or is it serving the company? And uh, the truth is that it needs to do a little bit of both in order to um, have the necessary buy-in and the necessary equity to actually be involved in the right decisions. Um, so I would say that's probably one of them. The other one is engagement. Um, once you have an ERG, a lot of people do come together. They have uh, an idea of what they want to do. And as you add more people to the group, people come in with different ideas um, and different levels of participation or expectations of what's um, needed from them. It's really easy to say, I want to be part of a group that represents me. It's a different thing to say, I want to do the work um, to make sure that that group, it's, um, it's representing the way that it needs to.